I wanted to show you one of our favorite action types, the objective node. So if you go into your workflow builder, you can come over and you'll find an objective node over here. We can drag this over to the screen. Now the start is where the conversation always starts. If I wanted to start by collecting some information, I would give this agent an objective. Maybe we want to have the objective to get someone's email. The short description is the most important part of this. That's how you tell the AI agent what it's supposed to do. We want to tell it what to do. Get their email address or maybe get their reason for wanting to sell a house or get their name first and last. We don't want to say ask for their email address. That's not an objective. We want to tell it what its mission is. We have some extra settings in here. So we can add extra information that's important when it's doing this objective. Maybe I want it to know that we may be sending them, we may be sending them some detailed information about their plan. I could do that. And maybe I only want it to try to get email twice before giving up and moving on. That's what Max Attempts does. By default, this is set to 99. So it's pretty much going to try forever to get it until it has it. For sensitivity, if I want it to accept almost any answer as being a good answer, I could set sensitivity to one. If I want it to be super, super strict before it is allowed to move on, make sure that it gets an email address, I could set it to 100. 50 is totally fine to start with. So start with that. We can also skip if not blank. By default, this is turned on and this will skip collecting that information if the connected field for the output variable is not blank. Now, if I save this, what it will do when a conversation starts is immediately ask for a contact's email address and update the field in our Go High Level or HubSpot CRM. If I also wanted it to ask for, say, First name, get their first name. I can put that in the same objective. And the AI will decide how it's collecting all of this information. It'll do so in the best way that it sees fit. So then we can go in and test and see how this works. I will test. start a new session, and I can test it here. We'll see that it's thinking about its solution, and then it says, hi there, could you please share your first name and email address so we can send you detailed information about your plan. Now, if I just give it my email, it will know the email's done, and it still hasn't done first name, so it's going to continue to ask about the first name. If I give both of them, it knows that it can collect and update fields for both of those at the same time. If I ever want to see its reasoning for an objective, I can click here and see some quick reasoning about why it said what it said. Or I can even see exactly the AI prompts that were run to get the AI to say what it said over here. Now that's an objective node.